welcome to the World Clock Teams and Personal App Introduction and Use Case. Advancements in technology have given us the ability to work real-time with colleagues all over the world. This introduces the challenges of raising awareness of different working hours across time zones and finding a mutual time for colleagues to meet live. Many organizations have made the investment in Microsoft Teams as their core collaboration platform. While we have the ability to chat, share files, and meet, there is no ability to clearly see where your coworkers are in the world and their current time. The current process would require an employee to leave Microsoft Teams to look up time zones on another application. This introduces friction to their workday, and the active application switching introduces the opportunity for more distractions. The World Clock Teams and Personal app gives us the ability to seamlessly find out more about where our colleagues are located in the world without disrupting our workflow within Microsoft Teams. Now that organizations are starting their day in Microsoft Teams, it is a natural place to add new capabilities to support the workforce. Bringing the world clock to where your colleagues are already working removes the need to learn yet another place to go for a new tool. It reduces the friction for your colleagues to be mindful of their coworkers' time zones and working hours. Every time we switch from one application to another, there are possibilities for distraction, interruption, or errors. Surfacing the world clock within Teams gives your colleagues all the tools they need to collaborate in one central place. With the world clock Teams and personal app, you can see the current time for colleagues, allowing you to be more mindful of appropriate times to send a chat. Having tools in place will take the guesswork out of figuring out someone's time zone and can help you avoid reaching out to someone when they're already off the clock or out for lunch. Set your working hours on a project to better inform your colleagues of your availability to collaborate. This also supports your ability to learn your coworkers' schedules, which can go a long way. Whether you're a manager or a coworker, knowing employee schedules will help you know when they're available for meetings, general questions, or assistance. And lastly, you can schedule meetings across time zones, keeping all your colleagues' time zones in mind. You don't want coworkers or employees getting up for a 4 a.m. meeting or staying up late to meet at 9 p.m. if it's not in their normal working hours. Let's take a look at the World Clock Teams and Personal app. When you add the World Clock to a team, it automatically adds all team members to the default view. You can manage the World Clock members by selecting Manage World Clock Members and then going to the clock icon to edit any of their time zones. You can use the drop down menu to find a time zone or type into the field and select Save. We can now see all time zones of our colleagues on the communications team across the World Clock application. I can see that Marianne Dashwood and myself are currently within working hours, while Elizabeth Bennett, John Willoughby, and Charles Bingley are no longer within their working hours. We have the visual indicator of day skies and night skies to quickly communicate to us which time zone our colleagues are in. To schedule a meeting with my colleagues, I'll want to add each colleague to the meeting view. You can do this by selecting the person icon with a plus on them. Now I can see below the different time zones based off of date and my time. When I hover over someone else's time zone, I can see what time it will be for them. So when it is 6 p.m. for me, it is 11 p.m. for Elizabeth Bennett. I can scroll through the times by selecting the arrow on the right until I find a mutually available time. Once I find a mutually available time, I can select the time at the top of the screen to schedule a meeting. I can also choose to look at dates in the future by selecting the calendar icon and picking a future date on the calendar. Please note, the working hours that were shown are only indicative of the time zone, not of their availability. So you may want to check the scheduling assistant after you have hit the schedule meeting button. All internal colleagues will now automatically be added to the two line. If you have any external colleagues, you'll want to add them in manually. Another action that you can complete within the World Clock Teams app is to set your working hours. 
Next to your name, look for the schedule icon. Red indicates it is not a working hour. Yellow indicates it is flex time and I may be available for a meeting. And green indicates that it is within my working hours. To change my schedule, I can click on any of these times and it will cycle through different colors. You may choose to mark an entire day as not available as that is a time when you are working on other projects. These working hours will be specific to each Microsoft team so you can choose to reflect the time according to that specific project. Another action that you may want to complete is creating custom views. Maybe there is a subset of your coworkers who you work with frequently on this team and you don't need to meet with the entire team so you'd like a quick view. At the top of the screen, if you click the drop down arrow, you can select add a new view and we can give that view a title. We can enter team member names in the filter box, which can be incredibly helpful when there are a large number of members in our team. Or you can just select in the check boxes below who you would like to be part of this view. You may also elect whether you want this to be part of the default view. Now we have a new view for CorpCom with Elizabeth Bennett and Charles Bingley. If I want to edit this view, I again click the drop down and I select edit current view and I can choose to add additional members or remove members from that team. Now let's take a look at the team's personal app. By default, the team's personal app will show you Outlook contacts and those close to you using the Microsoft graph. You may set your time zone and working hours by selecting the edit profile icon. Setting your working hours here is different than the hours that you set within the Teams app, which was specific just to that team. I can manage the world clock members by selecting manage world clock members. And since this is the personal app, it functions a little bit differently than the Teams app. While in the Teams app, your colleagues can set their own time zones or you can set it on their behalf. You will have to set all time zones on their behalf in the personal app. This supports the ability to set time zones for external colleagues as well. To set the time zone on behalf of someone else, click the clock. And then again, you can start typing in their location or use that drop down menu. You may also set their working hours. This can be incredibly important for managers or working with partners across different time zones. To set those different working hours, again, click on the boxes underneath the hour to cycle through available, not available, and tentative. You may also delete people from this view and members by selecting the trash can, and then they will no longer appear in your default view. To schedule a meeting with colleagues, select the plus icon and scroll down. You may select a date from the calendar and you can scroll left and right with the arrows at the top to find a mutually available time. Remember, this is only showing their working hours. This is not showing their availability. So you may still want to check the scheduling assistant when you schedule the meeting. Once you find a mutually available time, click on that hour and then schedule meeting. For any external contacts, you will need to add them to the meeting manually. So you can grab that from the meeting message and paste that right into the two line and then select send. You may also create new views within the personal app. Click the drop down and then select add new view. Maybe you want to make a view for direct reports. You can search for them through the free text box or you can select any of the team members below. And you can choose to make this a default view as well. You can switch between different views by selecting this drop down and then selecting the views. The World Clock app supports an inclusive collaboration environment where you're already working in Microsoft Teams. We hope this app helps you work better together across the globe, keeping your colleagues' time zones and working hours in mind to support a more collaborative workplace. Mm -hmm.